Good morning readers. I, Harish Budhu, warmly welcome you to my channel. Learn as much as possible from my handwritten articles. Opinion Paper This 23rd of June 2020 Big money is the route to political success. They know how to curb the laws, how to inflate building contracts, how to turn immunity into impunity, how to make money. No surprise, they have made Mauritius into one of the best, tried and tested, and safest countries of the world, to make quick and easy money. A, hello, there. Welcome to this 23rd of June 2020 opinion paper. I will try to shed some new light on two issues. The importance of waking up to the corruption booming industry plus the Gandhian non-violent methods to stop the plague of looters. As usual, you will have to judge for yourself and reach your own decisions. Bon lecture. Best wishes. B. First, consider the following. A. Did you have some yoga, tai chi, meditation and other physical exercises, this morning or yesterday? If yes, we are proud of you. If not, please think again. Start at least one of them today or tomorrow. B. For the benefit of our student readers. We had underlined 44 English expressions yesterday. Here is one simple method of learning English or any other language. Write down as many phrases as possible every day. And be consistent. I am still learning. My diaries are all real mines of information, and then. See, very often, I ask myself the following question. Will it not be better if I stop the internet articles, and instead concentrate on my books? as I cannot do both. I cannot answer, because both are important. And I am very attached to my daily articles. C. Quick and easy money is a prerequisite for political success and longevity. 1. If you happen to think otherwise, I fear that you might be wrong. If not, you are simply wrong. Think again. The last five decades have proved that I am strong and at my best when it comes to fighting fraud and corruption and made no mistake, I have never wavered or slowed down in my mission. Nor I have been scared of the mafia behind the corruption plague. History and the press both say so. No doubt. 2. We need not go down to the smallest detail today. We have already written a lot on how, corruption has now become a way of life, it has taken epidemic proportions, it is affecting all sections of the society. It has already gangrened many, if not most of our institutions, it has infected and decayed the tissues of most of our law enforcement authorities, including the judicial system, the country is bankrupt, on bended knees with a begging bowl, and you name it, our country has been destroyed with a two-tiered application of the law. 3. Little is done to reduce corruption, and that whichever be the government or prime minister of the day. Forget eradication. Some factual points are flashing through my mind right now. They do not bear any order of chronology or priority, do not forget, they are just ideas but based on factual information. A. The competition is intense and fierce, to make as much quick and easy money as possible, in the world of politics. Blame the laissez aller, laissez faire and laissez passer of the electoral commission. The wheels are well oiled from there. It hurts to have such a defiant commission in our own backyard. B. When I had won the scalps of two Labour Party ministers, in year 1979, with two escaping justice from my clutches, corruption was but a small trickle. Now, it has turned into an eternal torrent. It had all started with Anne Rood Jugnorth, Vishni Lachmi Nara Idu and Dejan Kodabaks of Libya, in mid-1980s. All Prime Ministers, since then, were and are, among the richest of the billionaires. For argument's sake only. Let us say I decide to launch a new party or movement. All the Prime Ministers, since year 1982, will gang up to fight me to the finish. All are united in division. That because economic success and their huge wealth are both a must, a necessity, to political progress. See, let us not fool ourselves. The plague of money laundering, under each and every prime minister, has now reached shocking and pandemic proportions. The top politicians and their proxies, 
and their entourage, were all investing dirty money into legal businesses and bank accounts. Both inside and outside Mauritius. No surprise, a few of the Mauritian diplomats are posted just for that. Black money is laundered in broad daylight. With the International Monetary Fund, World Bank, European Union, etc. D. And yet a snake of the family of Boas, is not weakened by devouring a small rat. The hungrier they become. They are used to devouring 1000 times the size of the rat. Theirs is a world of do not ask do not tell and unity in diversity. The route to political growth and popularity is money. E. There is an English proverb which says. Where there is a will, there is a way. In Mauritian politics, it is where there is a will there is money. If you really want to be rich, be with the powerful politicians. They know how to curb the laws. They know how and when to inflate the building contracts. They talk of immunity. In reality, it is impunity. Big hard evidence is in short supply. The bigger the contract, the bigger is the will and the way. F. It is difficult to escape this conclusion. They have made Mauritius one of the best, tried and trusted and safest places in the world, to be a white-collar criminal. To be continued. Keep reading, keep learning. Like and subscribe for more thrilling articles. Thank you for watching.